Hello, nice to see you at the Curiosity Club. Whether in the capital market or the technology sector, new energy storage batteries are a hot topic. However, it seems that people are enthusiastic about the rise of a thing but easily forget the end of it. As the main force of current new energy batteries, lithium batteries, after the end of their life cycle, face the question of whether they are directly discarded and buried or if there are corresponding processes for recycling and reuse. This is a topic worth people's attention and efforts, considering its potential environmental impact. The rows of white bags you are currently seeing contain various discarded lithium batteries, including those from electric vehicles and other electronic devices like smartphones. So, where should these batteries go from here? Today, let's briefly touch upon the topic of lithium battery recycling. The economic value of lithium battery recycling is self-evident. The electrolyte and electrodes in the battery contain rare metals such as lithium, nickel, cobalt, manganese, graphite, etc. Recycling these rare metals provides a certain economic value. In addition, directly discarding and burying batteries contribute significantly to soil pollution, making it an unsustainable solution. Let's take a look at the lithium battery recycling and reuse process under current technological conditions. Before being sent to the battery disposal factory, battery recyclers generally sort the batteries to identify those that can still be used in a cascaded manner. Cascaded use involves repurposing retired lithium batteries in areas such as energy storage as carriers for electrical energy. For instance, when the performance of batteries in new energy vehicles declines to 80% of their original capacity, rendering them unsuitable for electric vehicle use, it would be a waste to discard them outright. Instead, the battery packs can be disassembled, and the battery modules can be used in small-scale decentralized energy storage systems or in some low-speed electric vehicles, such as electric bicycles and electric scooters. When the lifespan of a lithium battery truly comes to an end, it can be sent to the final battery recycling facility for processing. Here, we will use the example of Dusenfeld, a car battery recycling company located in Germany, to illustrate the recycling process for lithium batteries used in electric vehicles. After removing the battery from the scrapped car, it is transported to the factory. Firstly, it is necessary to completely discharge any remaining electricity within the battery. This step ensures that there is no residual charge left in the battery. The German company chooses to recover the remaining electricity from the scrapped batteries and feed it back into the factory grid for use in the recycling operations. After the battery is completely discharged, engineers can disassemble it into various components. Since different types of batteries contain different metal materials and components, each battery can be recorded and classified at this point. This allows for different processing procedures based on the materials involved. In Dusenfeld's process, they create a battery passport for each battery, documenting the different components included in each battery. Subsequently, they adopt the corresponding recycling process based on the passport information. Next, the disassembled battery components enter the shredder. The batteries in this stage still contain flammable liquid electrolytes. To ensure safety, nitrogen is injected into the shredder to prevent any accidents. The shredded particles are conveyed to a dedicated vacuum dryer. At this stage, rare metals are mixed with the electrolyte, adhering to the particles in droplet form. In the vacuum and low temperature dryer, the electrolyte evaporates, leaving behind a precipitate containing lithium elements, known as lithium salt. The evaporated gaseous electrolyte leaves the vacuum dryer, turns back into a liquid at normal temperature, and is collected for reuse. The remaining particles will enter an air separator, during which the lithium salt, along with other metal mixtures, will be separated to form a black substance known as black mass. So, after the shredding process, various materials will be sorted out. In addition to the liquid electrolyte and the black substance, there are also copper foils and aluminum foils used to make the positive and negative electrodes of the battery, as well as plastic separators, and more. The most valuable for recycling among these is the black mass, which contains rare metals. However, extracting metals from the black substance requires a special processing. Currently, the most common methods are heating-based smelting extraction, known as pyrometallurgy, and liquid leaching extraction, known as hydrometallurgy. The detailed processes are not discussed here. 
The synthesized metals after extraction can essentially be used as raw materials for battery production. This completes the entire lithium battery recycling process. Currently, the lithium battery recycling industry is gradually developing in some regions. However, compared to traditional scrap recycling businesses, there are relatively fewer participants in the lithium battery recycling business. This is mainly due to the numerous barriers and challenges faced by the lithium battery recycling process. Firstly, lithium batteries contain various chemicals, including rare metals and organic solvents, leading to increased complexity in the recycling process due to the interactions of these chemical substances. Secondly, lithium batteries pose safety risks such as flammability and explosion, necessitating additional safety measures during the recycling process. This, in turn, increases operational costs. Furthermore, with the rapid advancement of battery technology, different models and chemical compositions require diverse recycling techniques. Developing efficient recycling technologies applicable to various types of lithium batteries is a challenge. Lastly, the design of lithium batteries makes it difficult to completely recover metals and chemical substances, affecting the economic benefits of recycling. Coupled with the high costs of recycling equipment, balancing the financial aspects remains a challenge. Despite these challenges, the widespread application of new energy batteries in the future is an undeniable fact. Establishing a closed-loop system for battery recycling and reuse is essential for sustainable development. Alright, that's it for today. See you next time.